Hi everyone, this is Bill Bass and I'm going to show you today how to easily share a document with students without having them to without having them have to log into um, or have a Google Docs account. So to start, I'm going to open up my Google Docs and if you don't have a Google Docs account, if you just go to docs.google.com, it's going to give you either a login screen and on that login screen you're going to be able to then create a new account. You have to have an account but your students don't have to have an account. If you have trouble setting up that account or would like some assistance please let me know I will be happy to help you. Once you're inside Google Docs you're going to see I have a number of docs here but I'm going to go up here and do create new and I'm going to create a new document. Okay, By creating a new document I'm making essentially a word processing document that will um, allow me and my students to collaborate together on a single doc. So it's coming, it's creating that document for me right now and what I'm going to talk about right now is how to do a vocabulary activity with that. So here comes my doc. The top here I'm just going to write vocabulary for my class. Okay, highlight that make it a little bigger, make it bold, and why don't I just center that just for the sake of doing it. Okay, now here's my vocabulary. For this particular example I'm just going to use um, just some generic words, but let me, so I'm going to use basketball, volleyball, and baseball. Okay. Obviously the words will be more appropriate for your particular content area but in this case um, this is a good way to do this. So with basketball here's my vocabulary. I'm giving this I want my students to be able to have this and be able to edit it online without having to log in. So first thing I need to do is save it. The upper right hand corner I have saved my vocabulary for my class unit and now I want to share that with my students so under the share menu in the upper right hand corner the option that I want to choose is get the link to share okay if I tried to invite people they would have to have a Google Docs account so I'm going to get the link to share click on that and what I want to do is allow anyone with the link to view and also allow them to edit Okay, so what that does is it creates a document that can be edited by other people without them having to have a Google Docs account. This right down here is the URL that I need to give my students. So I'm going to right now go ahead and copy that. Okay, save and close that. There, I have copied um, my URL, this document is now ready to save. So let's switch to a different browser. You can see that this is just Google. I'm going to switch to a different browser so that when I put that URL in my browser window and hit enter, it's going to take me to that document that I just created, vocabulary for my class. You'll notice up here it gives me an option to sign in. I am not currently signed in to this document and I can go in and change it. Basketball is played in a gym. Okay, Define that however you want. They can go up if one of part of your assignment is to have them insert an image that they have saved onto their computer. Insert image. They can either do it from the web or from that computer. Put it right in there. As soon as they go up to the top here and hit save now, it's going to save all of the things that they did, all the changes that they made. Now one of the downsides to this is you don't necessarily know who made this change. So I would advise you to go in and have them put their name beside whatever vocabulary word they did. Okay, so what students are doing in this case is creating knowledge together collaborating and 
basically contributing to the common good of the classroom. They're not all doing all the same um, vocabulary, so they're not doing the whole thing, but they can be assessed on that. They're contributing to the common good. Once they hit save, it's saved. The next student can go in um, and do the next vocabulary word. Or maybe they found a better example for basketball that they want to link to. Okay, To link, essentially, they'd say, here is my example. Highlight that and click on the link. And they can just put whatever their URL is. So in this case, I'm just going to put Google as my basketball example. Now, this is a link that can be, that then they can go out and uh, use, other students can use it to find better examples. If you have any questions on this, I would be happy to help you figure this out and help you explore how you can use it in your class. But really, the collaborative nature of being able to share this without having the, to have them go through the process of getting a Google account and all the things that go along with that, this may be a really good solution for you. If I can help, please let me know.